Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our 2013 preseason Division II All-American team. Now, there's many players across this great country that are worthy of being on this list. So let's name our first team All-American, starting with the quarterback position. Zach Zuli out of Shippingsburg put up video game numbers last year, tying a Division II record with 54 touchdowns in the season, and also took home the 2012 Harlan Hill Trophy, which is the equivalent to the Heisman Trophy. Look for him and that Shippingsburg Raiders team to put up some more impressive numbers this season. Franklin Quate out of Bloomsburg is one of the more impressive running backs in the country regardless of division. At 5'10", 205 pounds, you look at a guy that has career rushing yardage so far of over 5,300 yards, 58 touchdowns, and twice in his career he has gone over 2,000. Glenville State's running back Robin Lee rushed for close to 1,400 yards last year as a freshman at 7.2 yards a carry and 13 touchdowns. You want to talk about being a focal point of your team's offensive attack. Look at Lamar Durant and what he was able to do last season. 91 receptions, 14 yards a catch, and 17 touchdowns. Why that 17 touchdowns is impressive? You look at his team, only had 28 touchdowns. That, my friend, is getting it done. Jeff Janis out of Saginaw Valley State was an outstanding receiver for the Cardinals last season, averaging over 148 yards a game and also brought in 106 receptions with 17 touchdowns. And when you look at tight end Reggie Jordan out of Missouri Western State, honorable mention all MIAA last year, scored 11 touchdowns on only 23 catches. And Pittsburgh State's wide receiver John Brown makes our list as the all-purpose player. He's one of the more exciting players in Division II. Last year, he chipped in with over 200 yards on the ground, and he was the team's leading receiver with over 950 yards. And combined kickoff and punt return yardage, 800 yards, put the football in his hands, and he makes great things happen. Matt Armstrong is an integral part to a very good and productive offensive line. A two-time all-conference performer. Look for 2013 to be even more impressive this season for Armstrong. Brandon White is a former Youngstown State Penguin transferred down to West Georgia where he was voted in 2010 the Gulf South Conference's Freshman of the Year. He's a versatile offensive lineman that can play guard and tackle. Brian Clark out of Bloomsburg was a first-team All-Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference member and also was a finalist for the Gene Upshaw Division II Lineman of the Year Award. Andrew Esman out of Minnesota State racked up the accolades last season. He was a consensus All-NSIC member as well as a member of Dan Hansen's All-American team. Taylor Burnett out of West Alabama is a dominating run blocker that's paving the way for one of the best running offenses in all of Division II. In only his first season at West Texas A&M after transferring from a junior college, you look at Ethan Westbrook's production, 28 TFLs, 19 and a half sacks. One can only imagine what 2013 has in store for the young, talented defensive end. Zach Moore out of Concordia is a versatile defensive lineman that can play either D-tackle or defensive end at 6'6", 285 pounds. Last year, he had 21 TFLs, 14 and a half sacks, and should have an even bigger impact this season in 2013. Jamie Meter out of Ashland is one of the strongest defensive linemen in Division II, reportedly bench pressing over 500 pounds. In 2010, he was a GLIAC Freshman of the Year and has been a consistent conference performer since then and has a career total of 30 TFLs. NFL scouts are keeping a close eye on defensive end Larry Webster out of Bloomsburg, 6'7", 240 pounds. Last year, first year football so he's going into his second year he was a member of the basketball team at bloomsburg and he was a consensus all-american last season with 13 and a half sacks one of the more decorated defensive players in the country has been nate dryling out of pittsburgh state at 6'3, 244 pounds can play inside backer can also play outside backer he's a two-time all-american and in 2011 was named the National Division II Defensive Player of the Year. 
Tyler Zimmer out of Seton Hill played like a man possessed last year as a sophomore, 10 sacks, 23 and a half TFLs, and is very sound in pass coverage. Another guy that NFL scouts are keeping a close and watchful eye on is LaRon Fur out of Fort Valley State, former Oklahoma State Cowboy transferred down to Fort Valley, where he was a 2012 All-American and first team all SIAC. Deshaun Phillips is a very good cornerback. I love his cover skills, but it's his supreme ball skills and awareness which lands him a spot on this list. Outstanding prospect. Once again, NFL scouts will be zeroed in on Lyndon Woods, big cornerback Pierre Desir. This guy catches the football better than some wide receivers. He had nine interceptions last year and was first team all MIAA. Former Georgia Bulldog Dexter Moody is an outstanding safety that has great range from sideline to sideline at 6'3", 215 pounds, was a first-team All-American last year with seven interceptions. And speaking of great range and having outstanding ball skills, you look at Jack Morrow out of St. Cloud State last year, 11 interceptions and was big time all season long. L.J. McCray is the best returner in Division II, period. You look at his production as a sophomore, 32 and a half yards of return. Last year, he had over 29 yards of return and topped 1,000 yards. At some point, teams will learn not to kick it to McCray. Kicker Blake Barnes out of Tarleton State has a very strong leg and had an outstanding freshman campaign for the Texans. You look at his production, 18 out of 20, and had a big game versus Texas A&M Commerce where he went 5 for 5. Brandon Cleason out of CSU Pueblo had an outstanding year last year as well. Academic All-American, second team all Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference, and 17 of his punts landed inside the 20-yard line. Robert Jordan out of Henderson State is one of the best punt returners in the country. 456 yards last year and two touchdowns on punt returns, and he only did that in eight games. Also is a very good wide receiver, topped the 1,000-yard mark last season. Now let's take a look at our second team All-Americans starting with the offense. Chris Mills, quarterback out of Indianapolis, is one of the best players in the country. Keep an eye on him as he will put up big numbers this season. And also look at offensive lineman Tino Tuolata out of Midwestern State, a guard that can also double as a right tackle, very good playmaker. And Scott Simonson has the NFL scouts drooling out of assumption, one of these new age tight ends that you can flex out as a big wide receiver. But I wanna focus on Brandon Baker out of Carson Newman, Guy that rushed for over 50 or close to 1,500 yards last season. Plays in that bare offense, so you know he runs inside with toughness, but definitely has an open field ability to make one miss and take it the distance. Now let's take a look at our second team defense, All-Americans. And I can tell you right now that defensive line has a lot of pass rushing capability led by B.J. Stevens out of California, PA, one of the best pass rushers in Division II. You also look at linebacker Carlos Fields, one of the more athletic linebackers in the country out of Winston-Salem State. And in the secondary, there's no shortage of playmakers. Caleb Massey out of North Alabama, Brandon Dixon out of Northwest Missouri State, and Keon Robinson, I'm sorry, out of Shepard. Definitely one of those guys that's on the radar of NFL scouts and personnel decision makers.